As we continue to learn more about the horrific school shooting in Texas, we reflect on our own community. Just 10 years ago, a shooting at Chardon left three students dead. Emma Henderson just spoke with the man who chased Chardon's shooter out of the building about what he's going through tonight. We've seen these scenes before. Exteriors of a school following a deadly shooting. People being unified with their loved ones. And then the stories of victims and people like Coach Frank Hall, who stood up to Chardon's shooter, who's processing another school shooting. Well, right now it's anger. You know, you, you think about these things happen over and over again, and, and we go back to the same thing of doing nothing. In Washington tonight, people are saying uh, thoughts and prayers, and the other side saying, well, thoughts and prayers aren't enough. And that's it. Nothing else happens. Coach Hall has spent the last 10 years of his life speaking about school safety, trying to get anyone who has the power to create change to listen. And his message is clear. He wants more school resource officers. First and foremost, you know, SRO needs to be in every school in your district. Every school, especially our elementary schools. We forget about how vulnerable our little kids are in those schools. Secondly, if you're not addressing mental health issues in your school, then shame on you. But he's not immune to the emotions that come as soon as another report comes out. Another school targeted, another press conference sharing the toll. So he tries to busy himself as long as he can, but eventually has to acknowledge it happened again. Tonight, I'm going to pray um, and I'm going to ask God to give me guidance and I'm going to cry and I'm going to uh, um, be heartbroken tonight. I can't imagine what, what the, our families uh, of the victims that we have here, Danny and Demetrius and Russell, and, and what they're going to go through tonight knowing what happened down there. Coach Hall believes that making schools safe should be the nation's number one priority. And when I asked him about what his advice is for the survivors in Texas tonight, he said, keep fighting and advocating for those that were lost today. Maura. What an incredible man. All right, Emma, thank you.